Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with a video on how not to be a twat in Battlefield 1. This video is just for fun so please take everything I say with a grain of salt. Also let me know in the comments how you guys are enjoying the new In the Name of Saar DLC. I personally think that DICE have done a superb job with this package. Not being a twat 101 is not inappropriately teabagging. You've just killed some poor bastard and dropping a squat on his bullet filled corpse adds serious insult to injury. There is however situations where teabagging is acceptable. If you kill one of your friends that happens to be on the opposing team it is definitely reasonable to stop for a quick bag. Revenge teabagging some muppet who teabagged you is also okay in my book as they did it to you first and being the bigger man is as overrated as beats headphones by Dr. Dre. No one is going to blame you if you teabag a hardcore camper either. Look, I guess just practice a degree of care when you choose to taunt someone with a Bilbo Baggins. In summary, teabagging is kind of like jerking off. Some people do it, some people lie about doing it, but both, at the end of the day, are dick moves. Battlefield 1 has given us 4 classes to choose from and to avoid being a twat, make sure to use their abilities. The Assault class should blow up vehicles, the Support resupplies ammo, the Medic class heals fallen lads and lasses, and the Scout class guys lie 697 meters away pretending they are helping. I'm kidding, I know a lot of non-twat Scout players overwatch objectives or play aggressively ensuring to get those spot flares down like a boss. It is also important that all classes don't skip revives if there is a Medic nearby unless it will put that Medic in immediate danger. Improper skipping of revives is definitely a one-way ticket to being a twat. There is a limited amount of vehicles on maps so try and not be a twat when using them. Just like a trophy wife picks up chlamydia from her tennis coach, you should pick up your teammates when driving transportation vehicles. If you're flying around in the skies, do your very best not to bail on your gunners and if you're in a tank, help your team and PTFO. Staying with vehicles for a second and if you do manage to find yourself in the driver's seat of a behemoth, remind yourself that it is in fact called a fucking behemoth. If I had a dollar for every time I'd seen a train trying to lob mortar shells from the very back of the map, I'd have more dollars than there are genders. In recent news, I have decided to become gender fluid and I will now be identifying as a male, a pelican and an MG15 light machine gun. Does this mean I get to use the women's sauna now? Find out next week on Modest Pelican Gaming Politically Correct Edition. Hi lads, lasses, androgenes, bigenders, cigenders, non-binary, pangenders, gender non-conforming, gender questioning, neutros, trans female, trans male, trans person, trans people, two spirits, cis men, cis woman, FTM and non-genders. Today I have a video about how we should all get triggered every time someone makes a joke and ensure to cry about everything on social media afterwards. Only a bit of banter, Modest Pelican loves all. Let me know some of the worst twat moves that you have seen on the battlefield in the comments below. Otherwise, you are all absolute legends. Until next time and as always, stay classy.